Please state your full name, age, and occupation. I'm Aiden Vincent McDowell. I'm 16, and I guess a student. I'm a sophomore at Lincoln High School. Can you tell me what you remember about the night of November 14th? It started just like any other night. Me and my friends met up at the school to hang out. We met up in the playground at around the back of the school, just like normal. Jane was quiet, never got herself into too much trouble. She lived with her older brother, so she got up to whatever she felt like. I was always a little jealous of her. We all were. Dolly was stubborn, a little rude if you didn't know her. She was a good person though, smarter than people gave her credit for. Elias was fun, funny. He got into more messes than he got out of, but he was all right once you got to know him. Marty was sharp as a whip, smartest guy in our grade. He could get on your nerves, but he always meant well. Angie was trusting to a fault. She never would have accused anyone of anything. Problem was, she could be too naive for her own good. And then there was me. People are never good judges of their own character, but all I ever wanted was friends like them. They, they were good friends. Why do we always have to hang out at some elementary school? It's embarrassing. Oh, get over it. It's in walking distance from all of us. And since someone told me my car, it's the best option. Not my fault. Tree came out of nowhere. Just put your card down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always win? I'm just like that. If we're going to be stuck here, we might as well do something fun. Want to go break into a school? I don't know, guys. There could be, like, cameras. We don't want to get in trouble. Guys, I agree with Aiden. Fine. Just Jane and I will go. Fine by me. Those idiots are going to get themselves killed today. It's so much smaller in here than I remember. I think my classroom was right down there. D Dahlia and I were in Mr. Bergman's class in second grade. It's touching, but I don't really care. Have you gotten the lock picked yet? They changed the lock, so I'll be done in a minute. Fine, I'm going to the bathroom. You better be done when I get back. Got it. <laughs> They've been gone a while. And you care why? I don't know. What if they got caught or something? We should go look for them. Cards are getting old anyway. You guys do whatever. I'm staying here. Alright, watch your stuff. We'll be back in a second. Hey, Elias. Elias? He's dead. What? <laughs> we have to we have to call the cops or something. We have to go grab our stuff. We'll figure it out there. <laughs> you can't just leave them like this. We have to go grab our stuff. Come on, let's go. happening? Why is this happening? <laughs> we knew back to my house, but we can call the cops from there. Aiden, could I use your mom's arts and crafts stuff? Uh, sure. Oh my. I... 
I can't do this anymore. We have to call the cops or something. Our friends are dead. We can't call the cops. We already left. It'll be suspicious. We gotta wait for someone to find them. Someone to find them? What if, like, kids find them? We have to help them. We can't help them. They're dead. I, I can't stay here anymore. Oh, don't be stupid. You can't, you can't go there. What if the killer's still there? Stay here where it's safe. I can't stay here with you two. You're both heartless. Angie, please stay. My whole life, people have told me I was stupid. I was in the lowest level classes, counselors questioned if my brother was a suitable guardian. But I'm not stupid. I've never been stupid. Of course not. Why am I still here? What? I know you did it. Why'd you do it? I'm tired, Jane. Aiden? Aiden? Aiden. Aiden.